well welcome back to my channel today is a little bit of a different video we are doing a thrift haul but we are going through my top favorite finds from this past year it is a rather large haul though that we're going through today and that is only because I had a hard time trying to figure out what were my favorites so I ended up picking 22 so I will keep my commentary short because of that but I'll be sure to tell you what the price was as well as where it's styled in my home currently and without further ado it's surf tile time. So first up in the 22nd spot is this mirror. I got this at the flea market a while back in the summertime and it was only $10 and I was actually really surprised. It's gold, it's gaudy, and I absolutely love it. You know, an ornate mirror from the 1970s and for $10, I thought it was such a deal. So this is set to go into my entryway. It has currently been sitting on the floor. And the reason why I haven't hung it up yet is because I'm actually painting the whole area. So because of that, it hasn't been hung up on the wall, but I will actually put it up I will hang it up today this is just one of those pieces that I felt like would be perfect in that space number 21 is actually this ceramic so if you haven't seen this this was a part of the thrift challenge video where I went to the thrift store and only spent $20 in each store to see how far it could stretch now I picked this one up at Goodwill and at the time it was being sold for $7.99 it had two other small ceramics that were obviously a part of the set although they weren't sold as a set so this was one I had to absolutely get though. Now, for styling, I have not yet styled this one because this is intended to go in my upstairs living room. Right now, my upstairs living room is utter chaos. If you've ever lived with a toddler or if you've ever had a toddler in your home, you know what I'm saying. So right now upstairs, my living room is basically the play zone. For now though, it's just been one of those items that I've been freely passing around when I'm kind of changing up my home decor, which I actually do often. And it's one of my favorites still just because I love it so much. So next up in the top 20 spot is actually this bamboo coiled wrap bowl. I absolutely love this. This was part of my jackpot haul and this is still one of my favorite pieces that I picked up. Now it's funny because my husband recently just asked for some bowls for like fruits to put on top of the fridge and for a second I was looking at this bowl and I was like no that's probably exactly what it was used for I just really love it as more of a decor style piece and off the top of the head I don't remember how much this was I believe it was like five dollars and this one is another item that will definitely go upstairs in my living room I'm still currently looking for an antique sideboard but once I find that this will definitely go on top of it number 19 my gold vanity tray. I just found this recently. I think it was like two weeks ago and I absolutely love it. I bought two of these though. So I styled one upstairs in my bedroom as a vanity tray and then this one was intended to go down here on my bar. But I've been really loving this. I just love the style of it. These were really cool grabs. If I remember correctly, this was $4.99 and it was a recent buy but it's still one of my favorites. And in the 18th spot, is this bag. So odds are this might be the first time you're seeing this because honestly I don't remember whether or not I put it in a haul or not. But I was intending to use it as decor so it's going to be a bag that hangs off of my coat rack in the entryway and I'm planning on doing some like dried florals or some fake greenery coming out of it. I found this at the thrift store that was called The Little Boutique and this one was $9 which I think is still a fair price for this. I think it's just so stylish and perfect for where I want to put it so I'm really happy about this one at number 17 is this lamp right here so this is a lone lamp but it is perfect but at the time I really felt like I didn't have a need for it even though it was beautiful and I picked it up so I was thinking about reselling it however I just fell in love with it and when I was making over this living room it kind of just felt perfect because I only have one end table down here and so I was like one end table one lamp Perfect. To this day, it is still styled on my end table over here. And it's a great size too. I think this lamp was $24.99. I thought at the time it was pretty high, but this size lamp for $25 I think it's a pretty good deal. I think it was a good grab. It's still one of my favorites and that's why it's number 17. And number 16 is actually this frame. This frame is really old. The backing for this dates back to 1880. This was just an incredible find. I found it at a flea market. I know that the pricing was a grouping and so I think I priced this at $5 which I thought was still a wonderful price for this. And for the longest time this actually had not found a place in my home. Recently though, I got those vases. I fell in love with the styling of that and that was unintentional because those vases have blue hues and this gold kind of color and it kind of just complements each other so well that I was like, okay, wherever I put this, 
may need to go together. And so currently this is styled with those vases on a roll top desk that I got from my father-in-law. Now the roll top desk has been in my father-in-law's family for years and it has always gone to a doctor in the family. Um, we are not doctors, but I think my father-in-law entrusted it to us because he knows how much I love vintage and antique items. It's something that I cherish, but I love the roll top desk so much and I love the styling of this on top of the desk. Number 15. This is my fly trap if you remember the fly trap. So good news, I've accepted the fact that it was a fly trap. And knowing that it's a fly trap, I still really love it. This is honestly just a beautiful piece. I love the clear glass and this basket surround. So off the top of my head though, I don't remember the price so I will insert it down below. Now this one currently is styled on my husband's bookshelf. His office has a lot of neutral colors and natural textures and it's currently just styled on a bookshelf by itself. Honestly because I feel like it is a little hard to style but also I feel like it's a good enough that it could be standalone on the other end of a bookshelf. And number 14 is this gold clear box. I absolutely love it. I love the florals inside of it. It was just one of those pieces that I was like I've never seen before and therefore I absolutely love it. It's adorable. I honestly couldn't leave it behind. So if you have seen this haul, this was from the Jackpot haul. This was found at a garage sale. I don't remember exactly the price, but it's just beautiful. As far as styling goes and where it's currently residing, I toyed with the idea of having it in my bedroom upstairs and that's probably something I'll revisit when I finally redo my bedroom. But for now it actually has a place down here in my husband's office. It's a softer piece and I find it incredibly adorable. The gold with the colors downstairs in that bedroom kind of just worked perfectly and so for that reason I felt like this softer note of this gold clear box would be a perfect addition to that room. Number 13 is this old picture. I love this painting so much. I am very much into like landscape paintings and landscape paintings that I love are actually really hard to find. So when I found this, I fell in love with it. It's so old and so the painting itself has aged because it's not protected, but also it's the perfect size frame to sit as kind of like a layered piece on a bookshelf. And that's exactly where it's been styled. It is layered behind that brass pot, but it's still one of my favorite finds. And this one was found at a junk removal place. It was only a dollar and it was just a happy accident that I stumbled across it. Number 12, this accordion rack. I believe I bought this back in the summertime, late summertime, and I was at a barn sale when I found it. And it's been something I've been looking for for a really long time. So when I stumbled across it in a barn sale, I had no idea I was gonna find it. And they had different styles too, but as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh yeah, this one's coming home with me. Still really happy about this purchase. This one was $12 for this. And given the fact that it is a vintage and not a reproduction, I thought that was a really good price. Now, this one currently has not been styled yet, but it's going to be in my entryway. I am actually going to be putting up today despite the fact that I have not painted my walls yet because I didn't show you b-roll of it when I bought it the first time. But this is what I was envisioning hanging up in my entryway along with just this hanging and having some greenery out. I just think it looks awesome and I'm so happy for it. But it's been awesome to actually find items like these that I've been looking for and want but actually paying a reasonable price for it. So I'm really happy about this one. Number 11 is actually right back there so let me grab it for a second. So these candlestick holders, I know for a fact you haven't seen unless you follow me on Instagram. Shameless plug to follow me on Instagram. So I showed these in a reel that I made about Christmas items that I thrifted. Christmas items that I thrifted was intended to be a video, but time just got away from me. I don't know what happened in December. It went December 1st done. But these candlesticks I actually found while thrifting some of my Christmas decor and these were $14.99 for the set which I thought was great. Newer grab but still one of my favorite pieces. These are intended to go up on my windowsill upstairs in my living room but I had them styled down here for Christmas with my battery operated candlesticks and $14.99 for all three is really good. Number 10 is a recent find. It is this vase. I just think it's just a really eye-catching piece. It just feels like more of a high-end piece, so I just really love it. This one was $12.99 at Goodwill. It was red tag sale though, and so I got this one for 40% off. Although a recent grab, I still believe this will be one of my favorites far into the future just because I feel like it just elevates the space. And currently I have it styled down here, but this is something that will be going upstairs in my living room once I have the ability to style things up there. Number nine, 
are these? So there was a time in my life where I really didn't like the fact that these were basically the same height. And so I toyed with the idea of chopping one down a little bit so that they would be different heights. Y'all shut that down real quick. But you all told me to kind of put a book under it and see how I like that. And I did put a book under it for a little bit, but after a while, the same height kind of just grew on me, especially with how I styled it over here before I started putting up my Christmas decor. I really love that styling and so I kind of just kept it like that because I really felt it looks great with the frame and the little greenery back here so what I'm saying to all of you is thank you thank you for talking me out of chopping it because I actually do like it the same height it has grown on me and is still one of my favorite pieces these were $5.99 for the set which I still think is a really great price and I got these at Goodwill too number eight another recent find so at the start of the holiday season I was looking for deer or brass reindeer to style because my Christmas decor was utterly lacking. So I changed that through the course of thrifting. And these are one of the things that I absolutely fell in love with. These were intended just to be for like seasonal. But I was like, Psh, yeah, right. I'm using these everywhere. So these were $5. I got them at a flea market. They were currently styled right here on this bookshelf for the holiday season. I've left some holiday decor up, but I'm going to be changing this out. So these might stay up here or these might actually find a home in my husband's office. But I think when the time comes where my living room is ready up Upstairs, these might actually just find a place up there. Number seven, this amber jug. A very simple piece, a very understated piece, still one of my favorites. And the greenery I've had in it, it's definitely more of a fall decor piece, but I absolutely love this together. I love this color so much. And this was a part of my jackpot haul. I found this one at Goodwill. I don't remember off the top of my head the price of this one. I thought it was $7.99. If it wasn't, I'll correct myself right here. And honestly, when I bought it, I was really happy with it. But over time, my fondness for it has just grown that much more. So it's currently styled in my bedroom upstairs. And this one is another one that will actually be in my living room when I make that over. Number six is back there. This frame is still one of my favorite pieces. I got this one from the thrift store challenge as well. This one was a Goodwill find and this one was $7.99. There was another frame, a black frame that was $24.99 and I couldn't get that because of the $20 challenge. But this one was another thing that I just had to grab because I loved it so much. I love the detailing on it. And for a while there, I really thought I was going to put some kind of picture in it. It's intended to kind of lay like this, but I much preferred it like elongated like this. This. and after a while when I styled it back here I was like oh yeah I'm just gonna keep it like that so I know empty frames are not everyone's thing but I absolutely love the look of it I think it just looks so elegant all on its own and I wanted to kind of focus on the frame and not distract from it and so for that reason I felt like I'm just gonna leave it empty I'm not gonna put anything in it I think even when I update this space and do a living room refresh that will still be styled right there because honestly, I think it just works perfectly back there. Bet you thought you would see these at number one, but these are at number five. My brass candlesticks. These are the ones that are intended for upstairs in my living room and upstairs in my bedroom. The other ones have been distributed in various parts of my home. Some are in my husband's office. Some are down here currently. Some are upstairs in my dining room. So they're all over the place. Some of my favorite finds just because they're different styles, they're different heights. I love mixing and matching them and they've been various prices, but they are still some of my favorite finds just because they are so versatile and work so well for brightening up and warming up a space especially if you have some cooler tones in your house and that's what I've done actually I've since realized like I really want more of a warmer kind of feel and so adding brass in has really helped me to create a better space without having to paint just yet number four my cast iron pot. I absolutely love this thing. This was from my jackpot haul. And this one was actually found at a garage sale and this one was $20, which I still think, given the fact it's cast iron, is still a really good price for this. And this one is styled currently on my husband's bookshelf. The way it was originally styled, I just think it's a great piece and I love the rust. And it's one of those standalone pieces that I think could be just perfect on its own. Number three, this gold frame. I found this one at an antique mall and I stumbled across this one. This was up on a high shelf and it was only $7 and I thought I could repurpose this. As you're noticing right now, there's nothing in it. Before the start of this recording, I just bought the art materials so I can paint something. I measured out to see that I needed a 20 by 24 canvas, but I'm going to attempt 
to create a landscape painting. I actually found some great landscape paintings on Etsy. So that is my backup plan in case this doesn't go well. So back in high school, one of the things that I got from my grandfather was his paint set. And so it was a Bob Ross paint set with the Bob Ross tutorials. So I did a few paintings with Bob. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna do without Bob. So I kind of feel like I need Bob. So I'm going to attempt that and we'll see how it goes. It will probably be a reel if it comes out good. It will probably be a funny reel if it comes out bad. At this current time, this is just in my husband's office. I'm kind of styled how I showed it before. The only difference is that the greenery that was paired with it has since changed. But the intent is to hang this up in my living room once the art is complete. And in second place, my brass swans was looking for these for the longest time. And so when I went to an antique mall and found them, I could not believe it. I was so excited. Now, if I recall correctly, these were either 16 or $18. At the time, I really thought that price was fair. I still absolutely adore these. And these are styled in my husband's office, but I really love them and I was so happy to pick them up. And so finally, my top find for this past year were these brass cranes. So if you watched my videos, you know I didn't find them at the same time. I found this one by itself, and then I found this one later on, months later in fact. So these are just a testament to show though that thrifting is a long game. It's not something you can put together fast unless you're actually actively searching for those items. When you yourself are physically thrifting through your stores and looking around and going to flea markets, odds are you're not gonna find it immediately. And these are my favorite because of the fact that I desperately wanted them, but honestly thought I would never find them. And I was fine with that. That is thrifting because sometimes you fall in love with pieces that you just stumble across and they end up being better than what you were originally looking for. And when I found this one, I was happy. I found this at one of my favorite antique malls. I was hoping down the line to find this brass crane. And I just recently found this one at a flea market. It was actually by itself too. Now, if I remember correctly, this was seven or eight dollars. I'll correct myself down here. This one, she had it for 12, but she gave me some kind of deal. I think that's what I love about these so much is that it just took me so long to find them. But when you do find those items that you've been looking for, it makes all of the in-between moments worth it. So my favorite finds this past year, of course, so many more that I wish I could have added to this list, but we were not doing top 50. So if you liked this video, or if you liked anything from this top favorite haul, definitely make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also, I'll link below for you this video. This is a thrift haul of all the things that you have not seen yet. It was not a part of a thrift haul, so I decided to collect all those items and put them together in one video for you to watch. So if you're just interested in seeing a haul and not the actual thrift with me, this is a great video to watch. But I wanna say thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. Uh, la, 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 la. I don't want to brag, but I have done a tutorial of one, one Bob Ross tutorial. Shut it down.